Shalom, my people. Shalom. Hey, I just love doing this here. I, I, I love preaching this word. I love studying this word. The more I study this word, the more I learn about myself. And I wish I would have knew this from a youth. And then I would have been better prepared for life today. I would have been a better parent, better father, better husband at the time. But I didn't know. I, I, I feel let down because... I was going to church during that time searching for answers. And I never got the answer that I, I, I needed. I never got the answer that I needed. Because, see, my parents never got the answer that they needed. They come up during a time when time was different. They were taught different. It, it didn't fit in with our way of living. Because they grew up in a small town in Georgia. Even though it was like in the 70s. When I used to go there, but it was like they were still in the uh, maybe 40s and 50s, the way they was carrying on up there. And uh, 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 church had disappointed a lot of people, but I'm not blaming that. But now I am happy for that part of my life to get to this part of my life. And I just I just love studying this word, love studying it, and, and love sharing the, the, the proper way that it's supposed to be taught. This, this 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 section is called this segment is called uh, um dress code called dress code a lot of it had to do with the way we dress but a lot of it is our spiritual dressing so I'm gonna get right into it uh uh somebody sent me a video uh uh this morning and the video had it was an older guy I couldn't really see how old he was but he was an older guy maybe 60 something years old. Look, 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 looking at it. Maybe 60. The young boy, you can see he, he, he in his 20s. Young 20s. But he just kept aggravating this old man, kept trying to fight him and hit him and all that stuff. And I'm sitting there watching people filming. I can see, I can hear the voice of the guy filming. Oh man, somebody stop it. You saying somebody stop it, but you filming it. And the old man is still trying to, you know, hold his spot, you know, trying to, trying to, trying to handle the business, you know. The boy couldn't get no good looking, but he just, like, the old man got tired. So the dude hit the old man, had him on the ground. You can hear the, the women got up before the men did. No, I take that back. It was an older man with a cane. He kept saying, hey, stop, young fella, stop. Us. You can hear the girls in the background say, somebody stop it. She finally stood up. She was a young girl. She stood up and, and, and tried to say something. But it was a dude just came out of nowhere, just walked out of, just walked, just like he just appeared in the video. And boy, he caught that young boy with a punch, knocked him out. And see, that ain't wasn't nothing but the most high. We can't go around here treating our ancient of days. That was the God, Lord, the most high called them ancient of days. These, these are older people we got to be take care of. And our guys, the way they walk around here today with it, with they draw showing, man, it's so embarrassing. It's embarrassing to me, even though I ain't doing it. You ever been around somebody that's embarrassing? To you, even though you ain't doing that, but you feel like you doing it. Well, that's how I feel. When I see these young guys that they walk around, they draw. Who want to see your dirty draw? If you knew what happened back then during slavery, you wouldn't wear that. It did not start in prison, people. It started in slavery. It started when the so-called Edomites used to rape the men. They would actually rape the men, little boys. They raped everybody. They raped dog, cats, anything they can get their hand on. That's why God called them profane. And they still do it today. They rape and screw anything, man. And so they rape the men. They would rape the men in front of the family to degrade the man. So he lost his power because nobody respected him because he got raped. They call it butt breaking during slavery. And what they would do is make you walk around with your britches down like the way they're doing now. That's where you know you've been had. And now a lot of these women are finding out now that a lot of these guys with them britches down like that, they've been had. I see them posting them. I, I see them posting it on Facebook. So they know. They, they, they know. They said, you telling all the dudes about your girl, but what about that nigga you fucking? I'm just, I'm just giving to you bluntly. Like that. that's, that's just what they saying. So they already know. So they mean to tell me these women taking a chance sleeping with these dudes knowing they already sleeping with guys. I'm going to tell a story here. I think it was probably about in 19... No, I'll tell you that back. Yeah, probably 2000, year 2000, or 1999, somewhere, 97, 98, 99, somewhere in there. 
me and a guy got into a, 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 a like a partnership. We're going to do partial service. So he took my, my uh, I had just got my house built, so my credit was good. So he took uh, uh, my information and went to a place called Springfield, Georgia. Never heard of it. And he went and uh, 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 signed my name onto somebody's car, a truck. And he didn't pay it. And I didn't know nothing about it. So they came and got me for my job. Took me to jail in Jacksonville. I was down there in Jacksonville in jail for, for Duval County for maybe, maybe uh, three to four days. These young boys in here that you see on the street, they gay in prison. They in jail. I mean, you mean to tell me you couldn't wait till you get to the state? You just in jail. You in there long as three, four, five months, you out. They was gay young boys that you shoot their britches down. So I know when you see them got them britches down, them women know what they talking about because I seen it with my own eye. And then they took me to a place called Springfield, Georgia. And the guy came and expedited me, took me down. And he said, man, I know you ain't do this here. I can tell by your spirit. And I, I, all that played out. I got, I got out of it and everything else. And they know that I wasn't doing it. They know who the guy who, who, they got him and everything. But I ended up being free. But I seen that. I seen him. Let me get straight to this him. But see, see I, I, let me get straight to this him. Awake. Awake. Put on the strength. Oh, Zion. Oh, Zion. See, O Zion, I'm going to tell you what it means. I'm going to tell you what O Zion means. Because I, I, I looked it up. And, and o Zion, Zion means fortress. Or either it can mean the nation of Israel. Or either it can mean an old part of Jerusalem. That's what it can mean. O Zion. But this right here, he's talking about the old part of Jerusalem. He said, put on your strength. Put on your strength, O Zion. Stand up. Put on your beautiful garment. Your beautiful garment. Your garment is is is, is your uh uh and, and it can be your spiritual garment, but in this case he's talking about the clothes. The clothes, like your your your, your uh I guess like your uh, uh uh fringes. See this? This is your fringes. In the ribbon of blue. God's favorite color is blue. These fringes remind you of the Ten Commandments. So when you get ready to commit a sin, you got your fringes on, you won't do it because this right here won't let you do it. It's like a spiritual guard over you when you put this thing on. Man, you can't do it. You have to take it off to do your sin because this won't let you do it. These are your fringes. Just imagine them have everybody, they, 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 oh, the, the people of Jerusalem got on their clothes, that old Zion. This, in this case, it means Jerusalem. Okay? Old Jerusalem, the Holy City. See there? Old Jerusalem, the Holy City. For his, this, his four. There shall no more come into thee, the uncircumcised and the unclean. See, what the Lord is saying is Jerusalem, right? Right now, we don't live there. But that is our homeland. But right now, Jerusalem it got a bunch of uncircumcised people and unclean people in Jerusalem right now, people. They live in Jerusalem and uncircumcised people. Because that is why they are in the predicament that they're in. Jerusalem means city of peace. There is no peace in Jerusalem. I told you in the last video where Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Israel and Jerusalem. That is our name. We are the children of Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel. So that land is out. It's named after us. But there will never be no peace over there because guess what? How can it be peace when we over here and struggling? We over here struggling, so there'll never be peace in Jerusalem right now. I'm giving you the meaning. When I be saying Shalom, that means peace. Peace unto you. Peace unto you, my sisters and brothers. Shalom, Shalom. Peace unto you. That's Hebrew language. That's what we used to say to each other. That's we don't have that no more. We don't say peace unto us. Peace unto you. We don't say that because we don't love each other no more. The love is gone. Put on the holy garment of God. Put on the, the word of righteousness. See, it means different words, but you got to find out when you read this Bible, what is it talking about? What are these words used for? Because the content of the word will tell you what it's used for. Oh, Jerusalem, that place, that's our home. He's talking about our homeland. Our homeland has, do not have on the holy garment. They do not have a whole government because they're not living they're not living the way the Ten Commandments is supposed to be living. Supposed to be lived out. That is our homeland. That's why there's no peace. I just told you. Jerusalem, a city of peace. 
Shalom. Shalom is a city of peace. There is no peace over there now. There is no peace. It's a weight. Put on the, put the, put on the, the uncircumcised sinners, they are in there. They in our land. They are, 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 are destroying our land. Two, shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down. Get up off your ass. Get up, Jerusalem. Stand up, people. Now he's talking about us as a people. Stand up. You, Jerusalem. You are the city of peace. Stand up. Oh, Jerusalem, loose thyself from the from the, uh, the bands of that neck. They got a yoke around our neck. We living in a world of sin because this is not our land. <laughs> Lift up your neck. Oh, captain, daughter, you, we, ain't we in captivity? We are in captivity. The Lord tells us to put on our dress up here. Put on our clothes. Put on the spiritual life of God. Okay? Check this out. Go to Numbers, Numbers 15, 38. Numbers 15, 38. Numbers 15, 38. 15, 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. We are the children of Israel. I am speaking to you. You are the children of Israel. This is what the Lord, this is what the Lord told Moses. He told Moses to speak unto the children of Israel. Huh? This is what he told Moses to speak unto the children of Israel and, 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 and we'll live. Speak unto the children of Israel. Guess what it say? Bid them that they make fringes in the borders of their garment, the bottom of your garment, throughout generations. Never ended. It didn't never put to him. This is our this this is our pair. This is our dress code that we're supposed to be wearing. This is our dress code that we're supposed to be wearing. We're supposed to have on our fringes. In the ribbon of blue. I got mine. Judah. I'm from the tribe of Judah. That's me. These are our fringes. This is what we're supposed to be wearing. Throughout generations. And that you put upon the fringes and bought a ribbon of blue. You see the ribbon of blue? You put upon the ribbon of blue. It shall be unto you for a friend that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments. What I told you. This right here will keep you from sinning. Because just like we tell our kids in school to put on uniform to keep people from picking at each other. God said put on your fringes. Your fringes will remind you of who you are. It'll let you know that you're a child of God. Certain things you won't do. That's what the Lord say. These are our clothes. We put, these are our holy garments. Our holy garment is the clothes that God told us to wear. And it's our it's the garment of God, the word. The word of God. See, that's why God said you put these fringes on, it'll remind you of the Ten Commandments. And not the Ten Commandments, the commandments. 613. The commandments. I'm sorry, it's 613 commandments. The commandments, it'll remind you of, the, of what you're doing. You would not promise you. I put this on. Bro, you put these things. I got my fringes on here. See, when, when I put these on, check this out. You can't. It, it, you you feel different. I'm not joking to you, people. You will feel different because guess what? When you study work, this way they keep reminding you. You be looking down, you be like, man, I can't do that, man. I can't do that. You think it's your conscience, it's the word. It's the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is no spirit. The Holy Ghost is a word. I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you on that. Because everybody thinks the Holy Ghost is a spirit. No, the Holy Ghost is the word of God. That's the Holy Ghost. That keeps you from doing what you're supposed to not do. That's what that is. Not no darn. It's not no spirit like they try to make it feel like, oh, the Holy Ghost fall upon me. No, it's the word fall upon you. If you don't read this word, you can't get the Holy Ghost. You see them people slapping, jumping around all the church. That's not the Holy Ghost. That's acting a fool. That's what they taught you in church. The Holy Ghost is the word of God. Man, come on here. Come on here. It shall be upon you for a fringe and that you may look upon it. When you look upon it, you remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. And take you seek not after your own heart. You guess what I said? When you put them on, you won't <laughs> you can't do it. It won't let you do it. I'm trying to tell you, but you don't believe me. Go order your put it on and tell me you read this Bible. It won't let you do it. It won't let you. You be fighting like dog trying to do what you want to do with your friends on. I'm trying to tell you, it, it, it's crazy. It's really not crazy, but it's real. 
Because when you study this Bible, all the world reflect back on you. That's not do this. That's not do that. That's not eat that. That's not walk this way. And you won't do it. And you won't do it. Because these are the codes that we put. This is our dress code. This is our dress code. This is what we're supposed to have on. If that young boy would have been reading this word and had on his dress code, he wouldn't have done what he did. Because you can't. You can't do it. I'm literally telling you, you can't do it. You have to take that code. You have to take your friends off them before you to do it. I'm trying to tell you because the word coming. That Holy Ghost starts flooding you. Flooding you. Flooding you. The Holy Ghost not experience the word. It's the word starts flooding your mind. Flooding your mind. See, get what I'm saying? I'm trying, I'm trying to tell y'all, God teaches allegories and categories. Heart means your mind. Your mind is just a, your heart means your mind. Your heart is just a vessel like a water pump. Like I told you, it just pump blood to your body. That's all it does. You think with this. Not with this. This your heart don't mean nothing. It just a, a vessel to pump. It just once you brain dead, you dead. You take your support there because you brain dead. You ain't no good. You're a vegetable. But your brain make you think and do things. Not your heart. Come on, people. And your in your own eyes after which you used to go at home. See that? Once you get that and put this on. Your own eyes used to go horn. Horn means not just mess with women. Horn means stealing, robbing, raping, all that kind of stuff. You just hold out to different gods without them garments on. Okay, check this out. Go to Ezekiel. This is going to be a short message, but it's a good message. It's the, this is our clothes. You know when you put on certain clothes, right, it's certain things you wouldn't do. It's certain things you wouldn't do because the clothes you put on. It's certain things you wouldn't do because the clothes you put on. We just wouldn't do it. We would not do that with the, with the clothes we put on because we knew that in school, if you all dressed up and sharp, I seen, I went to school, I seen this. You seen people with all these fancy clothes on, they looked down on the kid that didn't have as much. That was part of the reason why they went to uniform. Now everybody looked the same. You can't pick at me because we got the same. The so-called nigga, we were good at doing that. We were doing it. It's a video floating around on, on, on Facebook. With these two girls, these girls walking home, you can tell she wasn't as privileged as the rest of them. I don't know what K-Dove is, but there's some kind of special shoe that came out back then that they was wearing at the time. And so the girl kept, the girl with the K-Dove don't care picking at the girl who was less fortunate. She kept picking up, they were laughing and videoing. So the girl just started walking, she started walking, and all of a sudden the girl with the K-Dove got too close to the girl, boy, and that girl let her go, and all her friends... Or the girl with the K-Dub shoes on laughing at the girl getting her butt whooped. Nobody helped her. See what I'm saying? So clothes make a difference. So you got on your holy garment. Your holy garment is your clothes with your fringes on it in the word of God. You got to study the word of God. When you got free time, your mind wandering around while you can't sleep, meditate. Ain't nothing wrong with sitting your butt still for five, ten minutes and meditating on the Lord. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You ain't always got to be moving. You ain't always got to have company. You ain't always got to have somebody in your face. Sit down and talk to God like God talked to Moses face to face. God said, I talked to Moses face to face. I'm going to show you what he mean by face to face. I'm going to get to that. Okay. Ezekiel, uh, uh, go to Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel 16. Ezekiel 16, people. Ezekiel 16, 16, 11, 16, verse 11, all the way to uh, 14. I deck, I deck thee also with ointments. I deck thee also with ointments. I'm going to show you, I, 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 see, I told my due diligence and looked at these words to make sure I want Ointments mean making something look more attractive. By adding decorated items. The Lord said, I deck thee with ointment. I deck you with ointment to make you look more attractive than anything else. I put branches upon your hand. Chained upon you. We always want gold and silver. We always want gold and silver. We, did, we don't just do this stuff because we think we want to do it. We do this because God put it. It's already in you. That's how you know you, this is you. That's how you know this Bible is you. If you read it, you'll see stuff that you do that they was doing. God said, I deck you with this here. I make you put this gold and silver on. I make you want to have gold all in your mind. King Solomon had gold all in his mouth. His wives had gold all around their neck. 
Our women back then won't go. The men won't ear rain. Nose rain. Why you think you're doing this shit just because you just think you're doing it because it's a fad? No, because it's in your DNA. You got the same blood running through your body that Jesus do. Because Jesus is your great, 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 great king, folks. Huh? The same blood run through him. That's why he said he had on a garment belt, a gold belt. When you describe him in Revelation, he had a gold belt. But not on him. We always wore gold and silver. Man, come on. I would put a jewel on your forehead. The little thing, that you, the jewel you see, they, they cop it off us. You have a little brace around your neck, you have a little diamond up in there. We used to wear, we, that's what we used to wear. Earrings in our ear and a beautiful crown upon their head. We always wore gold, man. That was that deck with gold and silver. And that ring was fine. Our clothes were made out of fine linen and silk. And brought it work. And then he fine food, we ate fine food, we ate honey, we ate good. We didn't eat all this pork and all this stuff, we ate good. We had honey, oil, and that was exceedingly beautiful. And thou did prosperous into the kingdom. This is us, folks. Nobody but us. I done told you how we used to be decked down. We always been a fashion people. God always dressed us in fine linen. But we done lost our way. That's why we in the position we in now. As a whole. Don't say you, you got it because you're an individual. As a whole. God said love thy neighbor. If you understood what that means. If you read the word. Your neighbor is your people. The children of Israel is your neighbor. No other people is your neighbor. We the only one that hate each other. They love each other. That's how you know God talked to us. God said he dressed us down and find gold. We ate fine food. We didn't eat all this food we eat now. God did that for us. God broke that down for us. Man, I'm trying to get you just, just, a, just a good man. Just let you know that. we See, we, we know how to dress. But you got to dress right. You got to put on the, gar the, 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 the garments of God. I'm going to tell you something, people. Look here. I'm a man. We're going to look. Hell yeah, we're going to look because we men. We're going to look at your women half naked. We want your women half naked. We see that. But guess what? No man ain't going to take you home. He just going to use you for a minute. Because he figured if you, he just wants you just for that minute. That's why when sometimes they get you, they try to change you. Because that, you attracting him with that. But he ain't, that ain't what he want. He wants substance. Now we're going to take it. Of course, we're going to take it. But we ain't going to show you the respect that we would if we seen a woman walk away modest up here. Now you, it, it, hey, ask any of your friends, any of your male friends, they'll tell you. Oh, yeah, we're going to look. Oh, yeah, we're going to look. We're going to see all that. We're going to want it. We might even get it. But guess what? Guess what we're not mad, we thinking. Hey, right, man, if yeah, she do like this here, she, what she going to do when I ain't around? That's how we think. We men. Y'all will never be a man, so you can never understand a man. But if you did what thus says the Lord did and, and won't watch your fine linen, a woman with a dress on get more respect than a woman with pants. That's point blank. Cause when we look at a woman with pants, we we we, we it's, I don't know what I can't describe it, but it's a certain kind of way we look at. But we see a woman with a dress on, it's certain thing we won't say. Nigga say, man, man, I got too much respect, we won't say. But we see a woman with certain other kind of clothes. Hey, bitch, we say certain things. But we see a woman respectfully. Oh man, it's certain thing we won't say. And you and you know I'm not lying. You know I'm not lying. That's why God said, put on this pair. I used to dress you up in gold and silver. I used to make you eat this fine food. But guess what? We don't do the, 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 the commandments. The law says the commandments is not about what they teach you in church. You probably never heard of this. But I'm reading it from the scripture. Let me go on. Go to uh, uh, 1 Maccabee. You don't have that. But I'm going to read this. This is very interesting. This is connected to that young boy. I'll tell you about the happening of things. You don't have. That's why I tell you people. Get your book. It's easy to order. Did you, it's easy to order to get your book. This it. This is your apocrypha. They just come like nine to ten dollars. It got baby. You, I promise you all will be surprised how this book match up with all the books in the Bible. Because this is what the Catholic Church took out. Because there was too much condemning information about them. They were condemned by how they painted the pictures of the Bible, the old, how they changed the image, all this stuff. They talk about uh, 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 the Greek. They talk about the Greeks, how the Greeks took us over, how they killed us, how they took our books and burned them. They, they tell you about all that. 
Alexander the Greek, not Alexander the Great. It breaks it down, everything and what he did about him being how he died. It tell you all that stuff, how they did us, how they killed us, and they call us reading Bibles. Oh, man, I'm trying to tell you, get that book. It's the Apocrypha. We'll go to 1 Michael B. 1 Michael B. 14. 1 Michael B. 14. 9. 14. 9. 1 Michael B. 14. 9. Check this out. The ancient men. Remember I, just, I told you about that? God called our old men ancient men. But that was a respectful name. That was respectful, man. Like some, some you, you'll see some guys say, old school. They being respectful in their own sense, but they don't even know why they being respectful because God is still even in them, even when they doing wrong. Because you got the same blood. If you got the same blood, you might be different. You still your daddy child. You still your daddy son. You still your daddy daughter. You still got the same blood running through your body. Even though you might not act like them, you might not do what they do, but you still got the same blood running through your body. That's why you do what you do. That's why you wear gold, because God blood running through your body. That's why you wear silver, because God blood running through your body. That's why you wear silk. That's why you like dressing good. That's why you like looking good. That's why you like grooming, because God gave you that. The ancient of days, the ancient men sat in the streets. They sat in the street. Check this out. They sat in the street and communed together. I looked up the word commune. This is what it means. This is what it shares one intimate thoughts or feeling with someone, especially on a spiritual level. Especially on a spiritual level. You are communing. You are talking. You talking about God. Check this out. Together of good things. What I just told you. They talking together of good things. Take this book and break it down. I go word for word. Scripture from scripture, I try to give you the best information I can. I do not have step with this. Sometimes I spend two, three, four, five a week trying to get a message so I can make sure that I give it to you correctly because guess what? Your life depends on me telling you the truth. Your life depends on me telling you the truth. You probably never heard about this in the Bible because nobody teaches this part of the Bible. Check this out. And the young men put on gloves and wore like a pit. The young men, our young men are gone. We got to reach them. They are not wearing the glories and wore like apparel. They are wearing clothes to the ass, pulled down. If you wear stuff like that, you feel like that. If you dress nice, you feel nice. If you dress like a thug, you're going to act like a thug. You dress like a hoe, you're going to act like a hoe. If you put on modest apparel as a woman, you're going to be a modest woman. You can't tell me I ain't telling you the truth. Thus says the Lord and Maccabee. That's why they took them out there because your character is in this Bible. Your character is in this Bible and you must get it. I pray that you get this because this is between life and death, people. This is why you're doing what you're doing because guess what? Thus says the Lord said, I gave you this. I gave you this. You have a warlike appearance. Guess what? I'm going to tell you, hey, that's it. That's it. The young man... Have on war like a period. You done seen the guy stand on the corner. All you got to do is go to YouTube and say, the Israelite brother, you see them have on their garment. They bands up to here, up to here. They have on their they, 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 they fringes. They have their belt tied around them. They looking like they get ready to go to war. So guess what? They felt like warriors. So if you dress like a warrior, you feel like a warrior. If you dress like a punk, you feel like a punk. Huh? If you have your clothes all hanging down, that's how you feel. That's how you act. You take on that character. And you can't tell me a lie because I'm telling the truth. This word is so passionate and deep. You got to get it. You got to get it. Check this out. The Lord called us a stiff-necked people. In Exodus 32, 9, and the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen people. And behold, it is a stiff-necked people. The Lord talking about us. Who in the world was in Mike Sinai? The child tried to turn to Israel. That's us. That's who Moses, that's who the Lord seen the Lord was so mad with us. You never seen this in the Bible. You never read it. It's in there. It's in, it's in, it's in, it's in Exodus 32, 14. You never read it because the pastor never took The Lord was so mad with us. So disappointed with us. Guess what the Lord said? And the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. The Lord had to repent to himself. Because of the thought that he had to do to us. Wow. You heard what I just said. 
Exodus 32, 14, the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. You think on that. People say, who wrote the Bible? The Most High wrote the Bible. Exodus 32, 16, and the tablets were the work of God in which the writing of God graven unto the tablets. God wrote the Bible. God himself wrote the Bible. And God himself gave it to men to write the Bible on paper. Come on, man. Oh, look at him. Guess what? And people say, you say, well, oh, he ain't done nothing to me. He, I'm still, I'm fine. I got me a nice car, a nice home. Check this out. Genesis 33, 19. And gracious to whom I will be gracious and will show mercy unto whom I will have mercy. The Lord said, just because, just because you got all this stuff, you think you don't need me. I'm just showing you mercy because that's who I am. I'm showing you mercy. I'm giving you grace. Huh? Grace is when you, great. grace is a period. I'm giving you a certain amount of time to get something right. Mercy, I'm showing you mercy when I should be killing your butt. You call your life be a place to tell you to give you an extension? That's grace. I'm giving you an extension period to pay your light bill. Mercy, when I should be cutting your lights off, but I'm giving you that grace period. God said, just because you got these little things, don't think I won't take it away from you in a second, in a minute. So you better pray, put on your fridge, put on your garment, old Jerusalem. No man shall live and see Yah. Yah is the most high. These, these are Hebrew words I use sometimes. Yah, Yahweh Shah. These are God who are Shalom. These are the words that we use to speak to each other. Yah is God. 33, 22, 23. Exodus. And Yah said that thou castest not see my face. That can is not see my face. For there shall no man see me and live. No man see me and live. I got, I got to read this here to you. I got to read this to you. Exodus. Exodus 20 and 20, all the way to 23. I want it to be short, man. I want it to be short. Exodus 33, I'm sorry. Exodus 33, 20. And he said, he's talking to Moses. This is how God loved Moses so much. He loved Moses so much. This is what he said. And God, and he said, Thou canst not see my face, for thou shall no man see men live. And the Lord said, Behold, there's a place by me. Thou shall stand upon the rock. It shall come to pass while my glory pass by that I will put a cliff of rock and will cover down by their hand. God said, I'm going to pass by you, Moses. You can't look at my face because I will have to kill you. But I'm going to pass by you. I'm going to put my hand by the cliff of the rock. For when I go, when I pass by, I will take my hand away and thou shalt see the bite power. I can't go no far. I can't take this. This is too much. This is a glorious God that we're dealing with. God said, you can't look at me in my face. I'll kill you. But guess what he did to Moses? I'm going to put my hand behind your eyes with a cliff of rocks. So when I pass by, I'm going to drop my hand. You can see the back of me. I love you, Moses. So if God loves Moses and we are part of them people, he loves you the same way. That's why he got mercy on you. That's why he killed us. Shalom, my people. I love you. I do this out of love. It's passionate, man. I promise you it's passionate. You can't get this word and not feel passionate. This word makes you feel like you just want to share it with the world. Shalom, my people. I love you. I promise I love you.